we'll quickly talk about the pathogenesis of diabetes mellitus. So now, for the pathogenesis of this disease, you are trying to um, look at the types, okay? So the most popular type are the diabetes mellitus type 1 and diabetes mellitus type 2. Although there is pre-diabetes, but where they are usually discussing something serious, they usually leave it out, okay? So for the diabetes mellitus type 1, the problem is because insulin is not being produced, all right? So you have hyperglycemia. Then for the diabetes mellitus type 2, insulin is being produced. It could be that insulin is being produced so small, all right? So, but the cells are resisting the insulin action. So the insulin is acting, but it is relative, it's not acting much, you get? So there's relative insulin. Yes, there could be relative insulin deficiency, and the cells are also resisting, you get? So we are just trying to look at the patho. Genesis. But genesis is like how it came about. Okay. So this is diabetes mellitus type 1. Then we have the diabetes mellitus type 2. All right. So let's talk about the type 1. So for the type 1 that we're saying there is there is no production of this picture that explains it better. There's no production of insulin. So the problem is actually from the beta cells from of the pancreas that actually produce insulin. Okay. So you said that what in type 1 there is autoimmune T cell destruction of beta cells of the pancreas. Okay. So there's marked hyperglycemia, which results from about what 80 to 90 percent of the beta cells destroyed. Okay. So the destruction process is what beta cell specific. So the destruction is actually aiming at the beta cells. Okay. Then also isolated cells antibodies are present before the disease presents clinically and are confirmatory when detected okay so there is association with other autoimmune disorders too so genetic predisposition accounts for about what one third of the cases if you are having your beta cells of the pancreas being destroyed the problem is usually being linked up with your uh, genetics okay so this um human leukocyte antigen haplotypes all right type of it is dr3 and dr4 they are actually associated with what increased susceptibility. So if you have these things, they basically what make it much more easier for you to even have this disease condition. Then other environmental factors like some other viruses like what Kozaki virus, um, Epstein-Barr virus, mumps, and nitrosamines and bovine serum albumin have also been implicated in the destruction of these what. Uh, beta cells in the pancreas, okay? So looking at the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes mellitus, this one is basically what? Insulin is not being produced a lot, okay? And the insulin that is being produced is being resisted. So type 2 is a diagnosis of exclusion. So there's insulin resistance leading to type 2 diabetes mellitus, and there's impaired glucose tolerance, okay? So type 2 diabetes mellitus often occurs in association with what hypertension and dyslipidemia, a clustered term known as what metabolic syndrome. Obesity is a major cause of increased insulin resistance, especially the central obesity. Physical inactivity also promotes insulin resistance. Okay, so that's just how this um, pathogenesis of this diabetes mellitus type 1 and type 2 is. Okay. Simple as that. I use this image to actually explain everything. Okay.